Hi, everybody. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk to you for five minutes about a new project of mine called the Science Gateway Software Institute. Uh, so as all of us in the room know, science is becoming more and more complex, integrating data sources from instruments, from data collections, from supercomputers. And what ties all these things together? Um, in our view, science gateways, also known as web portals, connect these things. So this is the NSF's view of the conduct of, uh, of science today. We recently conducted a 5,000-person survey of NSF principal investigators and also academic CIOs, CTOs, these kinds of folks, on what kinds of specialized resources were they using to conduct their work. And so we see uh, quite a range from data collections, computational tools, educational tools, uh, citizen science, uh, workflows, so all sorts of different things. This is not terribly surprising. What surprised us a little bit more was how many people were involved in creating these things and the diversity in that kind of creation. What we also asked about was what kind of expertise was needed for the creation of these things. And you see quite a variety here, from usability consultants to graphic designers, uh, community liaisons, quality assurance and testing. And the thing to look at here is the blue is we wished we had this, and the green is we did have this. So if you look at some of the greatest uh, uh, differences between those two values, you see a lot of people wish they had quality assurance and testing. A lot of people wish they had uh, a usability consultant, graphic designers, things like that. Uh, so we, we, we've been thinking of ways to kind of address these needs. So the NSF is also recognizing the importance of software, uh, of science gateways. The Advanced Cyber Infrastructure Division in size has a software investment program that includes software elements, software frameworks, and as a capstone, uh, software institutes, these longer-term centers of excellence. And they have called for an institute in science gateways. We are very fortunate to have been um, chosen to lead that effort. We're really excited about this. It'll be launching any day now. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot about the details of what we're offering, but I'll show you how to find out about that. Um, uh, what does it mean for, for you? Um, free, free services. So this is just a little bit about what we have in mind. So we have this business incubator type of approach so that you can get access to this great variety of expertise that I talked about, but only if and when you need that. So you don't need to hire a full-time UI person or a full-time cybersecurity person, full-time, you know, someone giving you advice on licensing and things like that. Um, you can get that expertise if and when you need it. We can also help you stand up uh, science gateways. I saw a lot of great examples of gateways out at the poster session today. Um, but sometimes when you're thinking about these for the long term and you really want them to be sustainable and launch to larger communities um, outside a research team, there's, there's some advice that we think we can give to, to make that a little bit easier. Uh, we are also, it's actually difficult to find working science gateways. You can't really just go Google and find exactly what you want. So starting a repository of these things and also the software used to build them we think will be really useful. Uh, we've been doing workshops for over 10 years like this one for science gateway developers. We find they also don't, um, often don't have a place to interact with one another. So continuing that at the national and the international level. Um, and finally, workforce development. Uh, Developing pods of gateway expertise on campuses, on campuses can be a great way to, uh, to, to much more efficiently launch research projects. It also gives students a terrific path and more uh, career uh, stability for gateway developers. So we're, we're excited about kind of bringing the institute behind something like that. Um, if we're successful, uh, we're going to have a terrific, vibrant community of science gateway developers. Creating gateways will be easier. Uh, and we think that that's going to have a major impact on science rather than, you know, lots of stovepipe development and reinvention of the wheel. Uh, finally, learn more. I don't have uh, stickers, but I've got postcards. So come, come find me. Uh, there are also postcards at our poster, number two. It's well hidden in the back corner back there. Suresh Maru is going to be manning that tomorrow. Uh, and I think all the contact information is up here. So thank you.
you give some examples of gateways or or how you would define a gateway? What is con it's constituted of? Right. So the uh, so Galaxy Main is an example of a gateway. NanoHub, some of you may have heard of, is an example of a gateway. Uh, Cypress Phylogenetics Gateway is an example. There are, there are many, many examples, and they're called by a number of different names, uh, virtual research environments. That's some of the challenge around sort of that, uh, that branding and how do you locate what you need. So 